After a chilly day today, those warmer temperatures are going to start to build back in as well as some very strong winds. But we are still going to see a little bit of a dip in the temperatures as well as we're heading into the weekend. Started things out with a lot of cloudy skies, but finally we did see that sunshine as we headed into the afternoon hours. Starting to build in just a little bit of clouds. Uh, so we'll continue with some mostly clear skies as we're heading into the evening and overnight. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the city of Bridges right now. Very quiet across the area. Tom will coming in about 29 degrees with very light winds across the area. 31 in Kirksville, Macon 34, Fairfield 30, as well as Albia and Centerville. So again, we've got some very light winds out of the southwest right now, but those winds are going to be kicking up as we're heading into Thursday and especially into Friday. Still coming out of the southwest, and that's a good thing because that's going to be ushering in all of that warmer air. But they are going to continue to increase as we're heading throughout the day on Thursday, about 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll see gusts up to about 20, but wait till you see into Friday. Those winds are going to be very strong. In fact, we're going to see gusts up to about 35 to even 40 miles per hour. So hold on to your hats on Friday. We do have low relative humidity levels as well as dry conditions across the area. So probably not a good idea to burn outdoors over the next couple of days. So we've got all of this warmer air coming in from the south as we're heading into Thursday, Friday before a little dip in the temperatures, like I said, as we're heading into the weekend. So here's what we're looking at over the next few days. Clear skies for tonight, plenty of sunshine as we're heading into Thursday and most of the day on Friday. But we I've been talking about that rain that we could be seeing as we're heading into late Friday night and into Saturday. We've got the cold front that's going to sweep through the area. That's going to be bringing in a little bit of moisture. The good news is it looks like is right now it's going to stay well to the south and to the east of our viewing area. It is going to start to bring in a little bit cloudy skies as we're heading into Friday night and very early on Saturday. But those southerly winds that we're dealing with right now, as that cold front continues to sweep through the area on Friday night and into Saturday, that's going to be switching those southerly winds to the northwest and that's going to bring in a little bit cooler air and that's where we're going to see that little bit of dip in the temperatures as we're heading into the weekend. Uh, so a little bit of cooler air for the weekend but actually still above normal as we're heading into the last few days of January. 28 degrees as your overnight low for tonight. Average for this time of year is about 13 degrees. So we are doubling what we should be for this time of the year. Highs for tomorrow, we are soaring into the 50s, a high of 53 degrees. There's those southwest winds 5 to 15 with gusts near 20 miles per hour. Here's the seven day forecast. If you like tomorrow, you're going to like Friday, 56 degrees with those strong winds, though. And we do have some cooler air behind that frontal boundary. 48 degrees on Saturday, upper 30s on Sunday, but we are still going to see plenty of sunshine. 34 on Monday. By Wednesday, we have a better chance for some showers pushing in. 50 degrees, though, on Wednesday. Right now, a 30% chance of showers. Overnight lows, though, falling from the 30s to the teens. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. Those teens aren't going to last long because we're going to get that warm up again and into the 20s and even overnight lows early next week to near 40 degrees. Oh, that'll be nice. That will be nice. We'll be mowing our lawns in January. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll bring out the shorts and, and uh, you know. Maybe I'll get a tan. A there you bit, go. <laughs> <laughs> but those 50s are going to be very nice. But again, just be very careful because we do have those strong winds. It is really and, windy out there. Yeah. Yeah. And so not a good idea to burn outdoors because of that. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Welcome. Coming up next in sports from